in order to reach him, we need to humble ourselves. Jesus humbled himself. Here he is fixing to go to the cross. He's got 12 men in a room. One of them is a devil. You hear me? And then Jesus is fixing to wash their feet. Wash. You wash Judas' feet. Yeah, he did. He knew Judas was going to betray him. You wash his feet. God wants us praying for people. Let me tell you something. Now, King David. Worst day, when's the worst day of David's life? Which time? Well, that's true. <laughs> He is. He's up here and he's David's a warrior. He's a fighter. It was, God wouldn't even let him build a, the temple. He wouldn't let him do nothing because he'd kill thousands in battle. He was a warrior. That's what you're doing. I think it's time to rest, boys. I, I, I've been in the battle a long time and he said, I think I'll stay home. And so he's up and he's sleeping too much and he's laying around and he looks off that balcony. Man, alive, what a woman. Oh, but you don't have a problem. Woo! That woman is a knockout boy. I'm telling you, she woo! Look at that woman down there. And they said, they So he goes ahead and he fulfills his lust. Now let me tell you something, that's the worst that one of the worst days of his life. Because it cost him his children and, and how many how many people today have have blown him? before the family and the children and that's what I'm we're talking about today the best thing you can do is repent and say God I'm sorry I'm sorry and you wouldn't hurt to go to your children say listen I failed you I did wrong I shouldn't have done that when you look back in your life how many times and, and I've heard people say this you know I wish I'd have never done that I, I just I, uh, my dad was talking to a man one day and he said I want to be honest they said, well, you be honest about what you've done. He said, I killed a man. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. You killed a man. Now, how you, you well, how many people do we kill? Let, we've destroyed a bunch of them. Yep. And God says, if you have anger and hate in your heart towards someone, one, you're like a murderer. I think, Lord, goodness, we need your grace. Because the things I've said and the things I've done and the thoughts I've had, uh, you, you see somebody and you don't like them and you say something about them, and all of a sudden they're real nice to you and you think, well, you hypocrite. You, you know? God says, listen, I told you, I told you what I did about the doctor that did my operation, and I thought, yes. Yeah. Uh, and I hope you, you know, what was I hoping? I was hoping he'd hurt like I hurt. I was hoping something, you know, and God said, forgive him. Hmm. Is there somebody you need to forgive? Is there some kind of problem you caused? And the, and the, uh, you see, when we, when we fail, we fail good. You mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about? We fail good. That's why we need Jesus. Hebrews 4 and verse 14, and then we'll close. Uh, seeing then, verse 14, that we have a, what does that say? Great. A great high priest. Where is he at today? Where is Jesus at today? Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. We have a great high priest. Did you know we're kings and priests of God? I hard to say that, but we are. Yeah. That's why we're that's why we're to do what we're supposed to do on this earth. That's why listen, folks, you have to work through failure. We are failures, but yet we're children of God and we're kings and priests. We don't live perfectly. We work we live forgiven. And God forgives us. If he did, we couldn't do nothing. The greatest gift we have is when he shed his blood on the cross and we have forgiveness. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And he knows. He knows you. He knew what you do. He knew what you do 70 years ago. You don't think he knows you? He knows everything about you. He knows what you deal with. He knows how angry you get. And that's why we that's why he grants us repentance. 
that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Hey, it didn't say Mary. No. There ain't but one intercessor. The one that makes an intercession for us. It didn't say Mary. It didn't say this saint and that saint. It didn't say Peter. And it didn't say Abraham. It says Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our profession. Folks, it's very important that we don't stop on God. Uh, uh, and then he said, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. You know what that means? All we've been talking about is the, the but he did this without sin. He understands. Listen, he understands when Tommy goes into the to have surgery. God understands that. God understands your heart. God understands, listen, God understands when you lose a loved one. God understands that. Listen, Jesus, Jesus went into death. He raised Lazarus from the dead. But Lazarus died again one day. They try to kill that. God understands when you go through crazy things. How can you how can you understand uh, that, that when our nephew Brock was killed and hung out in a tree in the animal lane? How can you understand that? I don't know, but I trust the one that that's going that heals it all. Hmm. And we don't want that. God didn't want that. But God wants us to say, come to Him when we have doubts and fears and frustrations and we, we can't stand it. Why do, why, uh, Mama watches these. LMN shows. Can you come up and get on here? Oh, dang. <laughs> I said, Mama, you know why you like them shows? They're clean. No, it's Hallmark. Hallmark. I said, they're clean. It's usually, now they have problems. You know, then this guy's gonna leave town, but he don't. He's gonna go to New York, but he's gonna tell him love. And, and he's gonna be watching them too. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I figure about for what I say. Now, now wait a minute. That ain't the guy that goes with that girl up there. They're gonna have to bring in another guy. He wants it for me. Yeah. <laughs> that's and what so, Lane does. But you like something clean, right? You like something that's. That's when you get them watching it, you feel, oh, that was wonderful. Well, see, <clears throat> okay. Y'all like that? Yeah, she gets you that. You ladies like that. Yeah, she you. gets that good looking man. <laughs> 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 hey, there, look at him. I cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity, but now listen, but was in all points. Now, you let me tell you something. You, go, you will never go through anything that Jesus Christ does not understand in all points, tempted like as we are. Now, temptation is not a sin, but he was tempted like you are. Right. Uh, yet without sin. I, I, I've, I've been through a, this deal lately, and I've been, it's like I've been blaming God. And, and I, I've been trying to work through it, and I'm, I said, Lord, please help me. And then a scripture, I heard a scripture this morning, he will not uh, allow us to be tempted above we, that we are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape. And he said, you never leave me nor forsake me. I have to hold that. I have my faith. You see what I'm talking about? Faith, it, it, and he gives me our faith. He gives you faith. He allows you, and he'll work through it. Don't stop on God. Don't get angry. Don't get upset. If you do, come back to God. Okay, now then, let us therefore come What's that word? Boldly. boldly. You say, well, I, I I'm Lord. I, no, he said, you come boldly, not, not in arrogant, under the throne of grace. Aren't you glad it's grace? Amen. That you may obtain mercy. Oh, my goodness, Lord. Surely goodness and, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be good? Oh, oh my goodness. See, of course, Y'all don't like preaching like I like preaching, but I mean, I'm talking about one of these days, just, uh, we, we say, well, we don't need no preaching up there, we praise up there, we worship of the King of Kings, and he will be on the throne, and we'll be able to worship. Let me tell you something, you, you just walk, you imagine seeing Jesus, walking up to him, and seeing Jesus, his eyes are like fire, and his, and his hair was white, and in Revelation. And we're gonna get to we're gonna get to see Jesus and the presence of God. People that have said that they went to heaven and the presence of God. 
just everything up there is is just so beautiful, so uh, you couldn't explain it, no way under the sun. But the devil don't want you to look at that. He wants you to look at this junk right here. Folks, let, let's humble ourselves. Let's pray for our young people. Let's get busy with what God called us to do. Let's stand for God, and if it means going to jail, just go on to jail and take your beating. Uh, John MacArthur, Brother MacArthur, he, he, they, done, they done jumped on him. Boy, they done tearing him up. And uh, folks, let me tell you something. Y'all don't have any problem knowing what a woman is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you, you are sick, boy. Let me tell you You're in trouble. Hey, <laughs> woman said, I don't know what a woman I don't know how to answer it. Now, I don't know what a woman is. What do you mean, or what a woman is? Now they, no. now, now they think a man can uh, have babies. Have babies, yes. Did you see that lady that yes. was in Congress saying that men could have women? Um, babies? Babies? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know how to answer that. She was I, sitting I there saying trans could have trans babies. Trans can have babies. Yeah, and she told that, that Josh, what is his name? Holly. Yeah. Uh, and he said, do you think that uh, um, a man can have a baby? And he said, no. And she said, well, you're, uh, what, what you call him? She was calling him names. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he said, you mean to tell me because I don't believe that a man can have a baby, that, you know, I'm, I'm uh, helping them to be depressed and kill themselves? But they, she had a name for it. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's what yeah. she called him. I, I don't remember. She trans cyst something. And, and uh, uh, he says, what kind, what do you teach in your class? You teaching these kids that men can have babies? That's she is. In their mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's ridiculous. That's, oh, it makes more of a problem. That's a that's a, it is. That was playground. So she would that's answer his question. That's a mental case. I don't even know how to answer. You'd have to be. I don't even know what you'd have to be. You're not even. You're not even happy human. What did God say in Romans chapter one? I'll turn them over to a reprobate mind. mind. They don't want God. Right. God said, "Okay, you don't want me." Now, folks, I'm gonna tell you something. Ain't no difference between me and you. You don't want God. God says, okay. go ahead and do your deal then. But you remember the consequences. And he said that you may have that you may obtain mercy. How do you obtain it? You go to him and be honest and find grace to help in time of need. Do you have a need? That's what he said. You have a need, come hold it to the throne of grace. He said, everything you do, you ought to get up and pray about it. How many times have you got up in the morning and you boy you running and you going and you and you working or you doing this, you know, and you thinking, oh, don't it, I ain't praying, I ain't asked God to bless the day, I ain't asked God to give the Lord, please forgive me, I, I'm sorry, Lord. And then just stop right then and say, okay, Lord, I'm sorry. I didn't take time for you today, and I'm sorry. And I want you to know that you're my Lord, I love you, and and, my, and I get too busy down here. And please help me to honor you and, and today, and help me to be nice, help me to pray for people. Show me somebody. You say, well, you think God would show you somebody to pray for? Why, 100%. Listen, you wouldn't believe what God's doing right now. Uh, Brother MacArthur said out there in, in California, and people are coming to Christ like you wouldn't believe. You know why? Because they realize that this thing is over with me. I'm not trying to scare you young folks, but I'm going to tell you something. We're going to go home. It's getting close. Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, Noah's Day, you know what Noah should have never done? He did a great thing. He built the ark and that place was expanded. What shouldn't he have done? But he didn't see nothing wrong with building the vineyard. He shouldn't have done it wrong. He got it wrong. Well, okay. Did you know you can get drunk on stuff besides liquor? Yeah. You can be drunk. You can be drunk in the head. We got a lot of drunks nowadays. They crazy as a bitch as well. We still have to love people. Walk in love for those that are that are that, that they don't know. <clears throat> Can we do that? Do we need help? <clears throat> oh, Hate the sin, love the sin. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you what, what God did this week. We had at our place on I said they have a sense of time with our car. April called about it, and they told her one thing we had to go to the DMV to get stuff. Okay, you asked at the DMV, didn't you? 
Well, well, I, I called. He called a couple I called times. the state. I called the DMV. I we were standing. I was looking for the tire. I said, we hadn't gotten the tire then. I was on the phone talking. And he was on the phone. And I was just standing there. And it was the strangest thing. It was just all of a sudden, I thought of my desk. And I went back to my desk and looked and pulled the door open and there was the tire. I had I didn't even think we'd gotten. God had there. I mean he just led me right to it. And I said, you have the best you feeling. Get off the phone, this is the title. And we had it. And we had it. I mean, that's God to me. That's right. Mm -hmm. I didn't know we had it. Amen. And he thought and I just and I don't know why I thought of the desk, and I just, the desk, and I went to the desk. Because God put that thought in your mind. He, was, well, he, he told you. Mm -hmm. Give me. <laughs> See, <now. laughs> what did you say? We don't want to hear it. <laughs> 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 Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, I need a thing. I need a thing. You going to give us one? <laughs> no. God <laughs> <laughs> doesn't pay dog. If I want to do something with it. Yeah. Uh, Oh, oh man. But you, Terry, go ahead. How many of us pray to God for something that we really need, but God didn't see fit to answer that? Yes, sir. I think if we really believe and we pray to God and we need something bad, he, He'll fill, fill it. Me too. Amen. Amen. He doesn't do it in our time, no. but he does it. He always answers to me, you know. Uh, and if it's not what we ask for, it'll be something better. That's true. Well, I was getting ready to leave from Sandy soon uh, after dinner. And it was like, I told everybody bye and was packed up. And I was pulling out, it was like 3 o'clock. And I was pulling out, <clears> and I was, something just told me, no, go home today. So. Uh, you know, I can call the store, let them know that I won't be there. And I pulled back in the driveway, got out, went, got my swimsuit on, get in the swim pool with everybody. And uh, and then I found out that about the time that I would be coming through Shreveport, that's when they had that hazmat and something on 49. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I would be right in the middle of it. Yeah. They said cars were sitting there for hours, didn't even move. And I would be like, and so I know God answered that prayer right That's there. Right. You know, I just, I've never done it before. I've always right. packed up, tell everybody bye, bye, and leave. And leave. But God will say no, you don't know. That's just home. like when you get behind somebody slow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of passing, maybe you just need to stop and think, okay. well, wait a minute. God put this person in front of me. Absolutely. Just stop, yeah. To, because there's something up I've, ahead. I've seen yeah. that. I have too. God's done I've that for me. And I've seen a uh, state trooper gone there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't speeding. I was what I did. Yeah. Uh, and then, then we had a we had an incident. My hot water heater went out. And I won't say. I what. mean, all hell broke loose in our house this week. And uh, <laughs> I was gonna fix it, and I, and I started taking loose, and the little copper tubing line broke. I told you not to do it. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. She told you. And you didn't listen. <laughs> so, I'm going to we all do that. <laughs> so, I go down and I'm trying to find everything. I done made the rounds of work. And then, and then this, I don't, this, is, this is what I'm talking about. You don't realize that what happened was for a purpose. You say, that's stupid of you to do that. No, wait a minute. And when I got through, I had went down to Homer, and this guy, went in there and he got an old piece out of a hot water heater and gave it to me. And I come home and put it in and it worked. So if y'all hear about my house blowing up, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> the hot water heater was just a year old and yeah. the man came to spray and he found to have something to it because when we got back home, we didn't have, we hot, didn't water. have hot water. We didn't have hot water. But you know, God has a purpose in the bad thing. 
what I'm trying to say. It's not always that it always works good. You say, well, I wish this happened. I have, well, wait a minute. You may go see somebody up here in Magnolia. You need to talk to them about the Lord. You may be an encouragement to somebody. And this guy that helped me, I have prayed for that guy. I thank God for him. And, uh, you know, I, it, it, you don't know why God does things like that. But, but Romans 8 and 28 sums it up. That all things work together for good. Right. Even if your wife up to that, you need to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know that then he came back with a little plaque to go on my refrigerator now this is that said I'm out of estrogen but and I do have a son <laughs> 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 that's good that's me well I can tell you one thing this may be off the subject but I know we're four hours from where my sister is but we got down there and we went to go out to eat at seven o'clock at night, it was 108 degrees. And yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it in the triple digits as long as I lived in Houston. Yes. yes. But that was bad. And then I knew it was going to be, you know, a little cooler here. It might have been about 100. Yeah. It was 108. Yeah. After the sun went down, it was 7 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they was telling everybody, if you don't have to be on the road, don't. Because the road is so hot, it's a chance you could... Another thing, I think we need to pray for God to send some rain. Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. I don't think we pray it enough. Yes, that's right. I have a I have a guy that I'm uh, at a plumbing shop that I pray for, and uh, David Law, and he's having a he's having a hard time with about believing in God. And he was raised in a Christian school, this and that, but he just you know. He said, I don't know. I just don't know. I said, well, son, you know, and I asked his mother the other day, I said, now, how's he doing? He said, well, he's still, said, we just have to wait until God deals with him about it. I said, that's right. That's, and, 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 you know, let me say this. She appreciated me asking him about her son. Because when God puts something on your heart and you move around somebody that you're not sure about their salvation, did you realize that that matters to God? That you pray and seek God about things and, about your family, that God would open. Listen, when God shows you things, there's a reason behind it. And I don't know how many people are going to come. Wouldn't it be wonderful to get to heaven and somebody say, you know what, you encourage me. You help me and you help me to find Jesus or, or whatever, you know. And uh, so let's, you know, let's, that's what we need to do, for those people. And a lot of times the church does. We get too stuck up or whatever, cry or whatever. Too yeah. much tradition, too much business. Amen, brother. It's right. Yeah. It's it's a big that's it. That's it. So pray for the lost. Pray that God would help, help us leave us. You know, and let me say this. You know, none of us know. You don't know about tomorrow, do you? No. You don't know about tomorrow. Well, I, I got plans. Yeah, the Bible says. He said, but you better say this is what the book of James says. He said, if it's the Lord's will. So if if you go home, how many how many of you? I mean, I'm because I'm, I'm old. I mean, I'm getting I'm not aged yet, but I mean, Jimmy, you ain't far from it, are you? One week. A week. Ronald had a birthday. Who did? Maybe a little longer. The eighth of August. Good. Oh, okay. Last this week. That's right. You did have a birthday, didn't you? I forgot about his birthday. Okay, we need to go. I, I appreciate you, but listen, uh, trust the Lord, ask him to help you. If you ask God, he'll help you. Right? That's All right. right. If you ask God, I promise you he'll help you. He's not so going to if you don't. Yes, sir. He's not going to. He's not. And a lot of times we don't. And so, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. Praise God. Love we love you, and I pray. I pray God's blessings on you. We got. Listen, we got a week. Oh, God's been so good to us, and and he, let's just pray together. Father, thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you for our people. I pray for encouragement in their lives, and I pray for our young people, Lord, that you draw them to you, encourage them, strengthen them, help them to be the witness, L D, and open doors for all of us. That we glorify your name, Lord. We love you and we need your help.
that we need the strength. We call on you, Lord. You said that we call you and answer and show us great and mighty things that we don't know. Thank you for your love, man. Go with us and power this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And bless and have y'all back. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.